I love buffets. I absolutely love them. Um, I went to Hibachi Grill and uh, Buffet today. I think it's just the fact that, you know, you get to pick like so many different uh, selections of food. And I think that aspect of it just makes it more um, enjoyable and more exciting versus eating just like one dish. And uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed my experience today. And uh, here's a recap of what went down. Let's go get some food. I want to grab a few pieces of this. I'm gonna grab some lo mein, some sauteed uh, green beans. I'm gonna try a little bit of this. This is the um, hibachi chicken. And let's grab some spicy chicken as well. General Zoe's chicken. And then salt and pepper squid. I usually do fried rice, but I don't think I like their fried rice, actually. Let's try one of these. I love salmon so much. Um, and then I saw the nice white stripes on the salmon roll, so I had to get it. I could not pass it up. And uh, I just got like a standard California roll, uh, some lemons for my salmon, and then some boiled shrimp, uh, some imitation crab. Here I got some white rice with uh, hibachi chicken, spicy chicken, uh, beef, salt and pepper shrimp, salt and pepper uh, calamari. I got some clams, some uh, mushrooms, and then I got a little bit of lo mein. I like more wasabi than soy sauce. I just like it to be so spicy and for it to just like burn. I'm going to add some lemon to my salmon just because, I mean, at the end of the day, it still is a Chinese buffet, just saying, and I don't want to get Sick. I don't know if that even does anything. Get all that uh, soy sauce. I gotta have another piece of that salmon. I added so much lemon that it, I can't even, I don't even know. I mean, it doesn't taste fishy to me, so it's good in my book. 
Here's my salmon roll. I might have ruined the salmon by adding so much lemon to it. Like the taste tastes different now, to be honest. Yeah, like I said, I added so much lemon. I can't tell if it's fish or not. We are going to try one of these crab sticks. And I don't know why, but I like to use cocktail sauce with this. That's not bad. I mean, it's not like the best crab stick ever, but you know, like it's not bad. It's not like, you know, some crab sticks are like very chalky. It's not like that. Dip it in that soy sauce. This is the California roll. And I mean, it looks like a typical standard California roll. Mm. Oh my gosh, that was sobby. That was a good California roll. Like for me, if the sushi at any buffet, like if the rice is not too vinegary or too mushy, then it's a win for me. And that's a win. And this is the uh, lo mein. It's greasy. The lo mein is, um, I feel like just right because it's not overly seasoned, but it's not under seasoned. Try some beef with lo mein. Wow, I was expecting the beef to be like super chewy and old and hard. No, it was the exact opposite. Wow. What is this today? So far, everything I've had has been pretty good. All right, let's try this salt and peppered uh, squid. Ooh. I was expecting that squid to not be that good because the batter itself to be honest is a little old and uh like it's been sitting out for a little bit but the inside of um the actual like the squid itself oh it is good it's like nice and hard um but has such a good chew to it as well let's try one of these clams right here oh oh that one was handy oh Try this piece of Generoso's chicken. I think the best type of rice with Generoso's chicken is white rice. I think I actually have had their fried rice here before and um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but maybe it's gotten better. But I think I was just so scarred that I just didn't want to take another risk of getting it. So I got some uh, white rice instead. That piece was a lot of batter. Probably was just a piece that I got, but the flavor is good. It's just, it was just a lot of batter, no chicken. Okay, so next I want to try uh, the uh, spicy chicken. That chicken doesn't look like anything, but it's a great piece of chicken. Ooh, it's got a hint of sweetness and a little spice. I got a little bit of green beans. Gotta get my veggies in. Is there an easier way to take the poop out? Like once it's actually boiled? I don't know, but. Let me just go ahead, since I'm already peeling, let me just go ahead and peel this one as well. I don't know how else other people eat it, but I like to just like dip it with my cocktail sauce. It reminds me of like the shrimp from like, when you go to uh, Kroger and you buy the pre-made already cooked shrimp. We're gonna go get some crawfish. We grab a little bit of uh, hot and sour soup. They put some more crawfish, so I'm gonna have to get another thing of crawfish. I forgot that they had this here, soft shell crab, so I wanna try at least one. This looks really good. I was just gonna grab like one chicken feet. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Sure, I'll take that too. Okay, thank you. So I got two plates of crawfish, some soup, and then some miscellaneous things. Crawfish, plate number one. When I went up there, I didn't wanna be greedy, so I just got a little bit, and then they, Ended up, you know, putting more out. So I was like, oh yes. So I got another plate of that. And then um, I got a little bit of dim sum. I saw the chicken feet. Ooh, this chicken feet. Why does it look so dark? But got chicken feet, uh, some steamed cabbage, soft shell crab, and then this like uh, sticky rice with pork. Got some hot and sour soup and some, uh, what is this? Egg drop soup. Just based on looking at it, it looks very dark. But isn't that what hot and sour soup looks like? Dark? I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a while. And I love all the mushrooms that they put in it. 
Ooh, that is sour. Egg drop soup. Oh, look at that yellow color. I can't tell. I have to come back to this because it's starting to taste like hot and sour soup. That hot and sour soup is strong. That sour taste. I forgot that they have soft shell crab here. I'm so happy that this portion is small because you know rice is filling. This is uh, their sticky rice with pork and I think it's like mushrooms. Rice is just a little too sticky for me. Who wouldn't think that you're eating um, pork? You would think that you're eating fish because of the texture, how soft it is. I'll just use my soy sauce from earlier with the wasabi. Ooh, that wasabi is no joke. This is the um, chicken feet right here. I don't know. The more that I look at it, the more that I'm getting scared to eat it. But it tastes good. Okay. Don't let, if you have never had chicken feet before, do not let the color scare you off. Please. Because it's a type of texture that is so good that you're gonna be like, I've been missing out my entire life. And I'm gonna be like, I was not expecting the flavor to be so good at a buffet, but I've never had the dim sum here before. The crawfish looks really well seasoned, actually. See some garlic pieces and then some black pepper. Let's open it up. So even though it's frozen, I mean, at least the meat is white, you know? Definitely tastes frozen for sure, for sure, for sure. But, I mean, it's all you can eat. So the seasoning is not my favorite because it is way too salty. The crawfish is edible. It's not like my favorite, but it's not the worst I've had. Let me finish up this uh, crawfish and then I think I'm just gonna go for dessert. Oh, I forgot to get some chicken earlier. Their fried chicken, from what I remember, is excellent. I kind of want to try this again because earlier when I tried this, it tasted like hot and sour soup. I don't know why. It still tastes like hot and sour soup. I'm just going to get some fruits and then I'll be done. Why is this fried chicken so good? Oh my gosh. So sweet. Mm. The cantaloupe is just as sweet. You want to show them the magic trick again? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, you ready? Now I get the ball. Hold the ball. My hand. <laughs> Magic, you guys. Out of all the buffets that I've been to here in Houston, I've been to maybe like, I want to say like around eight to 10 buffets. Um, we have so many here. But um, anyways, uh, Hibachi Grill is probably on my top three favorite buffets. It's the one that I always keep going back to. Um, so yeah, but you know, you definitely should go there and, uh, you know, see for yourself if you will like it or not. We all have different taste buds, you know, and, um, uh, all of my reviews are based on my opinion, my taste buds, my taste profiles, my preferences, what I like, you know, what I like, you may not like, and what you like, I may not like. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind because, you know, I am just one person. I'm not a professional food critic. By no means um, I'm just someone that loves to eat um, yeah so and just take what I say with a grain of salt you know because it would be 
kind of ignorant to go based off of what I say, you know, I want you to uh, go and, you know, um, see for yourself.